What's going on everybody? It's Afro Think Tank. Today's video is going to be about you not having to join any ideological or militant or identity groups to come to Africa or repatriate to Africa, do any type of businesses in Africa. You don't have to do that. You know, and there's no shade to the groups, you know, that are forming, no shade to the groups that you know that are that have been well established. You know, no shade to none of them. If you feel like you need to join a group, you need that that group I guess unity or camaraderie or safety to come and do anything over here, you know, or to feel like you you need to, to identify with you as an African yourself or to try to come closer to your ancestors or your people. If you feel like you need to join a group, go ahead, join a group. What I'm saying is you don't need to join a group. And there are benefits to just being yourself and going and doing things as yourself. Like, you know, you can go as Tracy, you can go as Gloria, you can go as Dee Dee. You know, you can go as Teresa. You can go as all these. Thank you. All the, you know, you can go as yourself. You, know, you can go as yourself. You don't have to go with a group because sometimes what happens when you go with a group is that group may have an ideology or a thought process that is not conducive with other groups, right? And that may cause friction. You know, it causes a lot of friction. So you could end instead the journey that you were trying to go on with, you know trying to reconnect yourself you can end up disconnecting yourself at the same time without even knowing it you know what i'm saying think of think of it as like a, a string right you know think of a string and you take a take a pair of scissors and you cut that string one side is africa the african people on the continent the other side is the african diaspora right you know two strings made of the exact same material but they're separated because the scissors have been cut Right, right now what we're doing, we're trying to reconnect that string. So we're tying knots, right? We're tying knots. But what happened when that string was 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 cut? Fibers they went all over the place, right? So when you cut a string, if you look at, you know, any material you cut, there's going to be fibers everywhere, right? So that means there's missing pieces in that connection, and those pieces um, are sometimes necessary to reconnect. So what we would do? We take those two pieces of string, and we tie them in a knot, right? We tie them in a knot. So we reconnect them, but it's a rough reconnection. It's not the original reconnection, it's a rough reconnection, right? And then we may roll it like a dreadlock, right? So you know how you're doing hair, like a dreadlock or a plait. So you're reconnecting these fibers. And when you reconnect these fibers, sometimes things are not where they used to be. Uh, the connections can get lost. There'll be fibers sticking out. There's you know all sorts of there's all sorts of actions happening with that reconnection. Then you gotta palm roll it. So you palm roll it, right? So you palm roll it and you're trying to get uh, um, consistency with the two separate parts and get them connected but at some point they will be connected and they will become one right so right now we're at the part where we're palm rolling ourselves we're palm rolling that string the strings that were disconnected we're palm rolling it together and we're trying to make sense of what we've lost you know on both sides and that leads to lots of miscommunication lots of uh, misunderstanding a lot of ignorance not our fault the ignorance that we have with each other is not a fault. It's by design. You know, it's our duty to, to de in spite of the purposeful cutting of our of our string of our connection, to reconnect those connections and have a, a better understanding of each other. You know, and when we have mishaps or when we have uh, miscommunications, to try to instead of reacting and pulling that string apart to try to use that as a teaching moment and reconnect ourselves and try to understand why do we think the way we think why do we why 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 is it that way right and try to fix it that's what we need to do we need to counter what has happened to us you know so sometimes joining groups you know as different fibers of that string sometimes it causes a lot of friction and then we backtrack right so we backtrack and then the knot's not tight and the knot breaks and it's not strong. But in order to make it strong, each individual fiber is going to have to do its job to connect to another fiber that hasn't been connected to in a long time. Right? So we can do this. You know, so if you want to come over and do something, it's it's definitely okay for you to just come and do it yourself. You don't, don't be intimidated if you're not part of a group. 
you know, or if you have to do, you know, don't be intimidated. You can definitely do this by yourself. That's what I've done. I decided not to join any type of group. There's plenty of groups out there, but I've decided not to join any of them. I don't, I didn't want to be a part of a group. I didn't want to be a part of their rules, their regulations, their doctrines. I didn't want to be connected to, you know, what they want. Even if I agree with them, sometimes there's a lot of groups out there I agree with, but not 100%, right? And sometimes that one thing, that one thing is enough. I don't want to be associated with it, you know, at all, you know, and that's enough for me to just say, you know, it'd be safe for me to do solo dello, just Afro think tank, all right? Afro think tank, I just think as an individual. And then I, you know, share that with other people who like to think, you know, because thinking is a powerful weapon. Yeah, thinking, taking the time to sit back and think, I mean, that's the most powerful thing we have because that's what we need to do. We need to sit back and think and not react. We have to stop being so reactive, all right, because we've been very reactive, you know, because we're so complacent and we're so nice and we're so such a gentle group of people that we allow people to do things to us. Then, then we react instead of just having a counter reaction, a counter intelligence, right? So we need to get on our counter intelligence game as a group of people. And so um, for all you people, you know, and it, it, when I say not a group, you don't have to go with a group. That doesn't mean you'd have to come by yourself. You can be with a group, but you don't have to adhere to their doctrines. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to do that. You can just come with some like-minded, motivated people who want to learn who they are, where they're from, invest, live, repatriate to, uh, you know, to Africa. And you don't have to repatriate. You know, like me, I'm back and forth. I live in America. I'm an American. I'm also an African. Period. I'm an African who lives in America. And I will go back and forth the way, as I please, as I'm financially able to do, to do so. And I will continue to strive to improve my financial situation so that I can go back and forth and back and forth as I want. You know, I want to get to the point to where when it's winter time in, in D.C., I can skip winter. I can say, well, you know what? Okay, guys, you know, have a good one. I'm out of here. I'm going to my second place. I'm going to my other home, you know. You know, Europeans do it, right? They do it all the time, right? They go to their winter homes. They go to their houses in Italy and France, right? Right? Uh, Latinos, they do it. They go back to their, you know, they got their places they go back to. Or Asians, they got their place to go back to. Uh, Native Africans, you know, uh, the, the Africans that just immigrated over to America, they do it too, right? So why can't African Americans reconnect themselves and do it as well? That's what I'm doing, right? My second home here. <laughs> That's sweet. I can say that. I'm not even rich and I got a second home. So keep that in mind. You can do it yourself. You don't need to be a part of a group, you know, to do anything. You can just do it yourself. You can have partners, but you can still be an individual with your own individual thoughts, own individual motivations, and make things happen. Because look at an example of what's happening in Gambia, right? Hold on. Look what's happening in Gambia. They have all these groups, and now people are being bunched up with an in, with other individuals who've done dubious things. So now everybody's looking the same, you know. And that's something that I wouldn't want to be a part of. I wouldn't want to be a part of a group where one person does something dubious, and because that person does it, I'm marked with it, right? So I got to walk around, and there's everything that person did. I, I'm getting blamed for it simply because I'm associated with that person or that group. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. And I think it'd be better if we did that because like like I said, many raindrops, you know, can can create a lake. And that's what we need to do, create a lake with our many individual raindrops and our many individual impacts, whether big or small, you know, whether you're coming here and you're building, you know, you're actually building a well for a small village, or if you come in here and you have millions of dollars and you're building a giant manufacturing plant that that hires thousands of people. Whatever you do. You know, if you do it individually, you know, it's impact is impact, no matter how big or small, it's going to contribute. So that's all I want to say. You don't need anybody to do what you want to do. You, you have everything you need, which is yourself. Okay. So think about that. All right. Just have a think tank. Learn something. Teach something.